Hey guys, we're Noble Salute. I'm Gerson. And I'm John, and this is one month into us practicing spear. Um, we just wanted to clarify uh, some of the boundaries that we use whenever we're fencing. I went ahead and marked them in white, because you're going to notice whenever we're fencing, we sometimes use out of bounds as a means of ending a, uh, a trade. All right, enjoy the fight. You can see right here that I get really close to landing a headshot, but I think it was more of like a scrape at the side of the spear, which is why I marked it in yellow. Uh, while Gerson's strike was way more efficient and definitely would have debilitated me. Yeah, at the time I did not feel the strike to the side of the head. Yeah, I think it was definitely more like the spear came up and like the blade might have nicked you, but it wouldn't have stopped you. You'll see us do this a lot where we both go to strike but neither of us really finish our hit. Um, it's because we fight so often together that we kind of just know what's going to happen if we finish those strikes. We do it in a lot of other weapons as well. So right here it's hard to tell, but he actually knocked the spear out of my hand, which is why I run out of the ring. Yeah, I was being pretty aggressive. I was, I'm was, i happy because I usually run away in the middle of a fight, like I back up a lot, but I was kind of standing my ground. Um, and then obviously since uh, you stepped out, we didn't have to worry about finishing with a hit. Even though I got a slight nick on your torso there, you did a really good job of just um, bullying me out of the ring no matter what. So, yeah. I, I feel like at this point in our sparring, I realized that like you have a lot more reach than I do, like just naturally. And so my only way I'm gonna be able to turn a lot of these fights around is to gap close, which is kind of a, a, a theme. So in this situation, I was actually going to try to rotate your spear around and gap close from there, but um, you managed to juke me on that. Yeah, we had talked the fight before about how I was tired of getting knocked out of the ring, so I was trying really hard to be a lot more aggressive. It definitely worked. <laughs> also, you can see us knock the spear head off. So this one wasn't a great trade, but we left it in because we realized we try to fake a lot without actually committing for a hit on hits that would have landed. Yeah, I, I know that we do a lot of like stomps and like twitches and stuff to try to get the other person to move and create a big opening, but we've both done it for so long that it only really works on people who don't fight us all that often. This is another uh, one of those situations where I know that staying at a distance against Gerson isn't a great idea, so I forced him out of bounds. Um, but I don't. I think at the at the time we didn't realize for sure that he was out of bounds, so he ended up getting a solid strike on my tum tum. Right about here is like the official marker. We we actually go by a two two foot rule where like when both of your feet exit the bounds, that's when you're out of bounds, not just one foot. Um, so that's why a lot of times we'll keep moving even though one foot's already out. 
And there goes my abdomen. Okay, so on this one, I noticed he lost control of his spear when he tried to cast it at my face. So I just kept pressure on him the whole time, which is why it looks like he's flailing around. Yeah, I noticed uh, during while we while were watching this that you were actually keeping my spear close to my body. That, that way it would be really hard for me to grab it the way that I usually do, uh, which was really smart. And at the time, I just thought I couldn't grab my spear to save my life. So I'm glad to know I'm not that dumb. So on this trade, I was actually very frustrated about the last trade where I couldn't hold my spear, so I was being very aggressive, and uh, I went really hard onto the whole shoving Gerson out of the ring thing. On this one, I was not going to get bullied out without at least bringing you with me. Yeah, I, I wish that I had ended with uh, me still in the ring, but if you watch our feet very closely, we both actually leave with our second foot at the exact same time. So, fun. But I did still get your spear at the end, which I was very happy about, even though it didn't matter at that point. At this point in the sparring session, we were getting pretty tired, so as you can see, I was able to get a nice thrust off at uh, Gerson's neck, and he didn't have the energy to bring his spear up to parry it or to dodge quickly. This one was strictly payback for the last one. I was kind of upset that I had let him get a hit off like that, so I just wanted to get one of my own. Yeah, and I definitely clearly did not have the energy to do the same stuff we were doing for the rest of the sparring day when it came to parrying. So this one was our last good trade of the day. Um, we don't typically get super aggressive, but when we do, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I was very happy that I was able to grab your spear when I did, uh, but you surprised me because you usually don't initiate grappling and you got like your arm around my neck um, and you got me like right on the border of being out, but I was, like, I was not having it. I saw your sweet juicy legs just sitting there waiting to be grabbed. <laughs> Uh, I, I was smart enough to grab a hold of the spear before we went down, so you couldn't stab me with it. Yeah, I in my in my head canon, I won this only because you only have one hand on the spear and I have both, and I'm like wow. trying to shove it into your neck. Wow! And you hit your head back of your head on the ground. I didn't. So. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, we plan on doing a lot more spear content in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun with it, so it's a lot easier to put out a bunch of videos for it. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Bye.